Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to build gate charts using the SVGs in Power BI. We are going to build four types of gate charts. One would be with the conditional formatting, which changes according to certain criteria. So for example, here we have certain criteria defined. So when it's below a certain value, it's red. When we choose another value, it's yellow. And then when it meets a certain criteria, it becomes green. So we are going to build this kind of SVG. The second SVG is the same, but with a faded effect, as you can see here. As it goes towards the maximum value, it starts to get darker. The third one would be a combination of the SVG and the values shown. And the fourth one would be having a gradient from one color to another in case if you have a certain color theme in Power BI that you want to put. So let's get started. We are going to start with a starter file. The link of the starter file is given in the description. You can download the file from the link and you can follow along. The first gauge that we are going to build, this is with the conditional formatting without any kind of gradient. And before we get started, let's have a look at a few measures that we have created here. So this is a table that I have created as a reference. So here we've got the year and the month and the rating average the calculated arc length this i will explain in a moment and the calculated percentage fill here we can see that you've got certain measures a uh, calculation of the arc length this is just a reference for the demonstration purpose percentage fill this is also for demonstration purpose color rating is something that i have applied here so for example if it's less than 3.5 it's going to be red 4.5 less than 4.5 it's going to be amber and if it's greater or equal to 4.5, it's going to be green. So any criteria that you want to define, it can be defined here. It can either be a fixed value or a measure. Here we have set the maximum rating as 5. The rating target was 4.5. And here we have set up some of the SVGs. So I will explain this, how we are calculating these. Here we can see that SVG for the happy smiley we have created one SVG here and the data category is set as image URL SVG for the neutral smiley and SVG for the sad smiley and then we've got four SVGs for the visual gauge rating color color gradient gradient and no text and we are going to use each one of these SVGs for a specific visual the CSAT this is just a sample table that we have as a data set and then we've got the rating average i have copied over this visual so we can simply look at it and we can start building the visual so the first step would be that we are going to bring in the card new from the visual pane and then we are going to bring in the rating average here we can see the rating average and then we are going to bring in the images so we select rating average image on image url and then we are going to select one of our svgs so the one that we need is the color this one click on ok as we can see we have got the value and we've got the image now simply we are going to turn off the values and the labels and there we have the first svg but most importantly we also have to look at the calculation what we are doing with the svg and how we are calculating that so let's have a look at the svg dax here the dax is very simple the first variable is the rating which is the rating average this is our actual rating then we define the max rating which is the rating underscore max here we've got the percentage fill where we divide the rating by the max rating so we get that percentage fill and this percentage fill can be seen here so here for example 2.5 divided by 5 that is 50 percent so here we can see 50 percent so this shows us how we are calculating that percentage fill going back to the svg we see arc max is 502.4 that is basically the maximum length of the arc that is fixed in this particular SVG. So that remains the same. We don't have to touch that. Then we've got the war actual, which is arc max minus arc max multiplied by the percentage fill. 
what we are doing here essentially is that we take the maximum length of the arc max and then we are going to subtract the percentage of the arc max the way this visual has been built is that we are not starting the arc from the zero in terms of graphics but we are starting the arc from the maximum so in terms of calculation you don't have to worry about it this is just fixed and you can just go along the important point here is the arc color so here we are saying that if the percentage fill is less than 0.7 or if it's less than 70 percent then you have to set this color which is for the low rating if it's less than 0.9 or 90 percent you will set the second color and if it's greater then you're going to set the color for the high rating rating text in case if you want to show the text here you are going to set the text format in our case it's a decimal number with one decimal point here we are defining the svgs so this is the default text that we have to put the width and the height of the svg here we are starting with a linear gradient we are setting the stop offset at zero percent and the stop offset at hundred percent and here we define two colors so arc color is something that we are defining here that changes according to a certain criteria why do we have zero percent and hundred percent this is because we are setting a gradient in another visual and i have simply used that script here as well so what we are doing here essentially is that we use the same color for the zero and hundred so that the gradient effect is not shown the next is the background circle or the background arc what essentially it is is that this gray arc that is present in this background circle where we are mentioning the fill stroke the stroke width so in case if you change it to 50 you see that the arc length that becomes thicker so that is up to you how you want to modify this visual then we've got the fill circle again here if we want to change it to 40 we will see that the front arc that becomes thicker yeah so that's also on your personal preference how you want to modify the visual we'll keep it 30 for now then we've got the text in case if we want to show the text we are going to define the text here so let's say if i want to make it aerial instead of the default text so we will see that the text would be aerial and then we've got the background semicircle this is we are drawing the arc for the background semicircle and then we are drawing the arc for the foreground which is the percentage or our actual value and then we've got the percentage text in case if we want to show this text we will keep it here and we will take the value from a rating text in this given format and in the end we return it so this is how we are building the svg it's very important that we understand the svg instead of only copying and pasting it so our first visual is ready in case if i want to i'll click enter we can see here that the text is aerial so let's test the conditions it's 2.9 because we haven't selected anything but in case if i select mars 2024 it's 2.8 when we go to 3 again it's red 3.8 it becomes yellow or amber and then it becomes green so this is working perfectly our first chart is complete we're going to copy it and paste it here and here instead of using this image which is color we will use the color gradient we'll go here and field value color color gradient okay now here we can see that the gradient is being formed what is different in this particular visual is only one thing which is the gradient and the gradient that is being formed here in offset zero percent and offset hundred percent so here we have to define two colors one color would be dark and the other would be light of the same color so what we essentially do is that we change the transparency so here we can see that starting is arc color start and the ending is arc color end arc color start here we see that we are defining the same color as we define for arc color end but we set the transparency 
to a certain value it could be 10 percent 20 percent or whatever and that transparency is set by using two extra digits in addition to the hex code of the color so here we can see that we are defining the lighter color which is arc color start by setting the transparency and we are setting the arc color end by keeping the color as it is with zero percent transparency our second visual is also complete now the next visual would be the fourth one because that's quick and easy and here we are going to bring in the images which would be this one so here we can see that we are not defining any particular condition rather we are just playing with the gradient and we are showing from one color to another both of these colors should be part of your report color theme so what we are doing here essentially is very simple we are not using any kind of conditions we are simply using arc color start and arc color end and that has to be the zero person which would be the arc color start and hundred person would be the arc color end that is as simple as that and here i would say we can say define starting color of the arc and here define ending color of the arc that makes more sense okay so let's say if we change it to aa b09c something random so we can see that the arc has changed the color the last svg arc that we have to draw is a simple arc but with a smiley face for example if you are trying to show the customer rating so once we click on a bad rating we see that it's a sad smiley face then we have a neutral smiley face and then we have a happy one and we are showing the value separately from this gauge and the target that it was supposed to achieve so 4.5 it's a good target 4.5 yeah it's good 4.3 is not very good so let's start with this one and what we're going to do essentially is we are going to copy this and paste it here this one is going to be a combination of two charts one is we are going to first bring in the image so we are going to go to svg and no text we bring in this image it changes accordingly and then we are going to bring in another card visual which we are going to place on top of it and we are going to bring in the rating average set the effects to none and visual cards no background no border nothing here and it should be the call out values should be centered without any label let's bring it down to maybe 27 something like that and then we'll try to place it in between the car like this the next thing that we have to do is to bring in the reference label for rating average we are going to bring in rating max and we are going to say for all of these title find the value is fine but no divider and they should be in the middle if we want to remove the spacing so that brings them closer as much as possible and then we are going to go to the title rating average title on select label and custom it's going to be it's a target yeah we can just bring it down to a smaller font and we can make this big and maybe we can 
make it bold or whatever you want so the target was five in fact what i have done instead of bringing the target i've brought in the max so let's bring in max uh target sorry and remove this max and now we have to do it again so this is fine this should be custom and target and let's make it 10 yep so this one looks fine now we have to bring in the smiley so we've got three smileys here one is the happy smiley the other one is the neutral smiley and the third one is the sad smiley how we are going to control them is basically we create a fourth dax where we say smiley equal to if the rating is a certain rating bring in the sad smiley otherwise neutral smiley or happy smiley you can do that in one dax as well but i'm just showing you what are the different methods to create these kind of smileys so you can create them separately or you can merge them into one it's up to you what we are going to do essentially is that all of these they should be tagged as image url from the data category and now we are going to bring in images for the rating average image on it has to be image url and we go to measure and we bring in smiley okay now smiley comes here what we have to do all of these they should be placed above the text yeah above the text and zero now we can reduce the size let's say we say 32 it's small and it should be centered anyways right and maybe we want to bring it to 40 or 36 whatever you want let's say 40 okay and then you bring it in the middle and you expand this box like this okay so now it looks quite similar to the one that we have here close it and let's test the working so 2.5 sad sad neutral neutral and then it's happy so this is how we can create an svg gauge using different methods like conditional formatting some gradients and then with a certain svg thank you for watching please let me know what you think about this video and if you would want to see any other tips or tricks in power bi and please don't forget to like subscribe and share thank you very much Thank you.